And the meeting is being live streamed. Got it. Okay. Awesome. And back to screen. Hi, everyone. If you are watching this and we are streaming live, I am here with Robert Alexander. He is a sound alchemist, a sound healer, a composer, a producer, and just an amazing, amazing man. So um, I still am not seeing. There you are, Robert. There you are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I had the old alchemist thing, you know, just kind of showing up, you know, bit of the mood, right? <laughs> Although I'm not a fairy godmother, I get a favorite audio alchemist, I guess you could say. I love that. Hey. I love that. When I, you know, what I do sometimes this week, I I would go to your website to learn more about you, and I'd be so calmed. Oh so wow, like, right on. Like literally, I I I would find myself because it was an interesting week for me. I found myself going back just to hang out and listen to your music and listen to your chakra music and just soak it in. And um, and you had sent a, a healing tape as well to um, some music for my husband, Tim. And so I listened to that a lot this morning. So I've been blessed oh, so much by you just by being in your energy and just starting to get to know you. So I'm really excited that my audience gets to know you even more. So tell me about yourself and whatever you want to just share today. Sure. Well, first of all, what a blessing. I needed to hear that today. You know, we're, we're all human. You know, there's a lot of people out there that's kind of like, hi, I'm just, uh, you know, pitch, pitch, pitch. And, you know, well, if you want to pitch, I guess we can save it for the baseball teams or something, you know, like, so I, I really, what an honor. You know, my, my biggest intention for, for you and for everyone is for everyone to feel the way that they want to be feeling right now. And I usually tell people too, sometimes that's not necessarily happy. You know, everyone has their own ways of feeling. So uh, I'm so glad that, you know, Tim was able to benefit from the music and even you. I'm more than happy to make one for you too. It's, it's my pleasure. Truly, truly. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I mean, gosh, it's almost like going to the grocery store to get food. You know, it's like, well, where do I start? Mm -hmm. So, um, well, again, I mean, my intention is for everyone to feel the way that they want to be feeling. And I guess you could say, like, no matter how conventional with what I do, mm -hmm. it just seems like a lot of people would think I would do a lot of things in conventional sound healing, you know, using bowls, using bells, you know, playing stuff within the session. And with this business, because I have two different businesses and I have a music project. So when you go on to like the, the music lounge, most likely that you're hanging out with, or even like the chakra page, the first part of it is all with life rhythms. And yeah. the other part of it is with Evla, which is my music project. So I guess starting out with life rhythms, like what I do is actually, um, I work with my clients and do private sessions. And um, from those sessions, not every single session for, for each client, it depends on how I work with them. And what I do is, um, yeah, there's my page. <laughs> It'd be wonderful for everyone to actually see this. So, while yeah. you're talking, is, um, first off, you know, I help a lot of my clients with their media. Your, your site is just amazing because I think it tells the story of, of who you are. How do I get back to the homepage? Oh, that little, here, let me move my little camera here. I think. That's a really good question. I, I know. I was like, oh, well, I'll go to the... Press the X. There this, we go. Yeah, this has been really blessing me. Uh, this music, listening to all of this music. And then, like I said before, and I want to make it really clear to the audience, um, when I first reached out to Robert and was talking to him about bringing him on and introducing him to all of you, um, Tim was really going through some healing post-surgery. And so Robert gifted him his own, his own song. I mean, his own healing track. So could you explain what you did specifically for sure. Tim? That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, if you want to go to the home homepage, this is just for the chakra collection. You just click on the logo and it'll bring you back home. So ultimately, you'll got see it. Like there we go. See? I love it. Look at that. Life never yeah. so good. I mean, just look at that. 
it's like you can actually hear the vibrations of the music and it's I love the fact that you um, you have an all-encompassing coaching practice and composer as a musician practice but when you actually come here it's just it's like all of a sudden you like drop in and you're feeling it you know that's the goal for sure yeah. Absolutely. I just get some mad props to my business coach, Alana Hunt, for, uh, for, for helping me with that because, yeah, like on one business that I literally have, it's a graphic design and sound design business where my conventional background, I do that because no matter how conventional I get, I keep landing back on my butt being unconventional. I think I might have said before. So <laughs> uh, there, there's certain things that I can do. There's certain things I may not be able to do. And at the same time, that's there's a reason why we have community, right? Mm -hmm. So um, with the life rhythms business that I have, like I literally do private sessions with my clients. And with this, when I used to call these types of recordings like customized affirmations. So that's a whole other process than what I ended up doing for Tim. Tim, it, it's more of creating custom healing music for him. And for me, it's not really about the head, it's more about the heart because there's a whole other thing I can talk about with the head, heart and the gut. And it's easy to go down the rabbit hole with different things. So. Maybe we can have that for another conversation and another time I just like to kind of be on, on track with certain things, you know? <laughs> so I'm saying this too, because so with Life Rhythms, like I literally um, create these custom pieces of music. The thing is, I don't play anything in session. And it all came through an experience where it's just, you know, when people use affirmations, they usually use them to get to a certain place uh -huh. versus saying, I'm here. I like to create from this place. And the brain just wants to go like, how? Like, how do we do this? Like, how do I figure this out? Oh, we're just going to use this affirmation over and over again until my brain goes, oh, yeah. Well, I really personally don't think it takes place that way. I mean, I know that we have our unconscious and, you know, conscious minds. And I realized, why not go to that place inside where we already have the wisdom inside of us anyway? So basically, I found a way to reverse engineer the law of attraction process. I mean, I found a way basically, and I found a way to work with each person. And the thing is, everybody thinks differently. We feel differently. We all have our version of what spirituality is. So why would I want someone to subscribe to my version if they're already good on theirs? Well, your chakras are all messed up. Well, who am I to say that? You know, it's someone else's opinion about what my stuff may be. That may or may not be true, you know? Mm -hmm. So this has nothing to do about dismissing anybody else's opinions about what one should be doing you know we're all professionals we're all doing different things so I figured maybe create well not maybe I figured creating something that would really be helpful for each person on their journey and if they like what I do and they're like hey you know I love your, your style and what you do can I work with you to, to work with various things in my life and use that music as like a a, a base or they get to use this recording away from their sessions with me or away from from myself in general as a tool to help them manifest, to help them find grounding. It's all tailored to what they're up to. And everyone's in different, you know, paths in their lives. So why would I have to like, you know, assume that, oh, well, this is how it's going to be. No, you, you never know what's going to show up. Why not meet each person where they're at? So like literally um, these pieces of music, they actually get Carol, like a recording. Um, they get a piece of music. They're also speaking, most people are speaking out, you know, what's really important for them, even if they may mm -hmm. not like the sound of their own voice. They're coming from that place inside their heart, which is, right. like I was saying, there's a whole head, heart, and gut, you know, type, you know, relationship. So basically, at the end of the day, when they're in that place, they're returning back to a place. It's like, remember that time you can, like, look at a, a photo at a party? Mm -hmm. Or if you go to, like, a movie and you hear, like, a piece of, you know, music from a movie, you're like, oh, yeah, that's where, you know, it came from Cats or... You know, this or came from Transformers, or I don't really watch Transformers or even Cats, but just kind of random, you know, random stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really anchoring back into that place where one can really expand. And there, we're getting information inside of ourselves to access. Some people call it inner wisdom. Some people call it higher self. It's whatever one subscribes to, and that's what makes it very unique, in my yeah. opinion. So I figured, why not offer a solution for people? wherever they are in the world, that works best for them. Some people might be like, can I sing? I'm like, yeah, sing. <laughs> oh, I love me. that. So basically people are getting a music, a customized music track to their energy in whatever frequency and whatever they're working through at the time. And they have the option of putting their voice over the top of it with their 
um, affirmations and or someone like me might want might want to sing my affirmations or composition and then you put it all together as a gift and then what I'm also hearing is that you do coaching packages also as options also along with this so to help people step into yeah. like I say second step into their resonance or their frequency and their manifestation right and, and I also love that you said that you don't you're not this isn't um, this isn't necessarily woo woo or you're not trying to take someone down a spiritual path that isn't the path that they've chosen Correct. That's right to them but this is just enhancing their the journey they've chosen right Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love putting the woo-hoo and woo-woo. Woo-woo. <laughs> so you always say woo-woo, and I'm like, it's it's really fun to say. <laughs> it's fun to say. And I, most people I know that are pretty, there's a lot of people that subscribe to their path. And I tell people, some people believe in Buddha or Mother Earth. Some people believe in Nintendo. I mean, that that's fine. You know, everyone has their version of what that might look like, and it changes. You can change in any, any moment, which goes even faster from a second. So the thing too is, I mean, there are different packages that I have. So if someone's like going to choose strength budget or based on their minimum mm -hmm. package, there, there may be a piece of music that's already made. And there's a way we're able to, you know, both work together to see what, what might work. It's a bit challenging when someone's actually singing what they're singing, although I'll have more of a soothing soundscape in the back. So it works hopefully in conjunction with what they may be singing. And right. it really depends, you know, and because when it comes to composing, um, there are other people that are like, oh, I want this to sound like this or like that. Like, don't get me wrong. There's people in the other business that I have where if I'm working with clients, oh, it needs to sound like this or like that. Or here's this example. And, you know, just it's like being a designer, like a graphic designer. Or you, like I'm just saying a sound designer. Mm -hmm. We can only do what we can do. So I figured why not dive into what I can do? And if there's things I may not be able to do, that's okay. It's just a matter of, getting a better understanding. And I realized being able to connect with people in a way that works best for, for them and ultimately everybody in mind, because, you know, I'm, I'm not a marketing strategist, you know, I'm not going to go to my dentist to go get my car fixed unless the, the person's <laughs> a mechanic, you know, yeah. I'm definitely not in the industry of pulling teeth. Otherwise I'd be a dentist. Right. So, yeah. Well, I, I'm really excited to uh, dive deeper into working with you personally because I've been really called really called to step more into you know the healing aspects of music and I'm just starting to 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 look at the possibility of adding adding sound therapy to my practice be becoming certified oh wow Congrats. breath work certified so that you know when people come to me for, so I get a lot of, I get two types of clients. I have my voice students, and then I have people that come to me for media management slash artist development. Oh. Primarily, yeah, so it's like creative entrepreneurs sure. that, that are like, I don't want to do it. Please do it for me or teach me how to do it step by okay. step. Hold my hand. And I love holding creative people's hands, but what I've recognized, both in my own music that I want to put out, Sure. And also um, in helping people that literally it it's always an inside job, right? They use the word yeah. mindset. A lot of coaches use the word mindset, um, but it really comes down to really getting somebody grounded in, in their path. Yeah. In their high grounded with their higher power grounded in that inner voice. I love the fact that you said that right off the top. This is an inside job. Oh and yeah, so, no doubt. Yeah. So, so when you're putting stuff out there for people to see, as any type of any type of business person, artist, whatever you are, however you're serving, serving your tribe, you'd get to show up authentically. You and and to me, like when I see what you're doing and hear what you're doing, I'm just like, oh, that is just, it's. I don't want to use the word magic, but you've tapped into you know, sound that is becoming and frequency, which is becoming so understood. It's becoming more and more understood. I you think it's magic. It's okay. Yeah, it's magic. 
Yeah. I invite you to give yourself permission to share whatever you yeah, feel is right yeah. for you. That, that's yeah. the intention here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I've got a couple of people on here. Hi, just saying hi. So hi. Hi to, hi to Christopher. Wherever you are, wherever you are. Pleasure to yeah, meet I've you. Got, I've got a few. I'm a little like when you're watching the Facebook Live over on this channel and then you're on this channel, sometimes it's a little delay, but um, just want yeah. to say hi to the folks that have hopped on and also hi to all the replay people. And we will be posting this also onto YouTube so that you can have the replay if you want to come back and watch it. So, okay, Christopher. Oh, I mean, Christopher's not <laughs> Robert. Okay, okay. <laughs> food paw. I like working with you already, Robert. You're very forgiving. Oh, so, thank you. <laughs> uh, I would like to play. I would like to go over here. And you said you were going to talk me through how to actually get the sound to work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm looking forward to sharing more about my, my music project as well. So when you were mentioning about like artist development and- Oh, awesome. Like I have music signed to a couple of labels and I actually I'm working, there's a few cool things I'm not going to release just yet vocally because um, I'm still working some of those kinks out. There's some really cool things. We have a lot to talk about. We do, I know. I'm also a connector as well and not just for the sake of connecting. It's just really vetted connections and quality connections and mm -hmm. there's a lot. So um, on that note, no yes, but I do want to get back to that. I absolutely. I just want people yeah. to hear, hear your gift. So um, yeah. when I press play, how do I? What do I do on this, my screen? Oh, I just found it. So I hit more, and I share computer sound. Yeah, and then there's the, I think share audio. Does that work on your end? Or? Yeah, yeah, that sounds a lot better. Good. So this is the throat chakra. Can you talk to us a little bit about the throat chakra? chakra? Um, the music or the chakra in itself? Both. Uh, sure, sure. I'll have a little Sorry. disclaimer. Yeah. I'm not a certified professional, but I mean, <laughs> you know, a little thing at the very bottom, like this guy, you know? Yeah. So when I think of the throat chakra, I think of communication. So when it comes to communication, there, there, there's just so much in relationship to that. You know, what are we speaking out to the world? You know, what are we internalizing? You know, what's what's really important for us to speak out? What do we need to clear? Um, what's in our expression? What's really in our truth? That That's my own personal opinion. And everybody has their own variation of that. So for this, this this whole album, I was going through healing. It's, it's a whole like wild process. And there's a, a friend of mine who also does healing work, like energy work, and she was, helping me clear all these different chakras. And she was saying, you know what? As you're going through this process, I'm just getting a sense like you create this music for the people. I think it's time for you to really get into this and to create pieces of music for yourself. And I've, I've created pieces of, pieces of music for myself, including originally they were called customized affirmations, like the stuff you were talking about before. And now they're called resonance recordings. It's because they're more helpful, they're more understandable. Um, so in this case, this collection was originally made for me. And I was like, I don't know why. I'm just being, well, I don't need to know why. I need to put this out. So I put it out. And here we go. I had people I was sending to friends, wild stories, or somebody out there in Europe with a friend of mine. One of you can stand this. There's kind of my Chicago area. He was telling me to put this in here. He was a native focus on the shock. It's just the shock was just so crazy. In a good way about to see how this is going to impact people. And this was released a little over a year ago. So amazing. Yeah, it's on different platforms too Pandora and Spotify. And mm -hmm. this is the first official release under Life Rhythms, which is my business. Yeah. That's on Pandora and Spotify and those things. I have other music on uh, SoundCloud. Like right. you would see, like music for a cold or, and again, it's, it's trusting intuition. There's, mm -hmm. there's times my brain was like, well, how do you how do you justify this? And I figured, well, when, when I go into these states, I just allow it to channel through. Right. And some people are channeling, like, what's that? You know, is this hippity boppity? It's like, you know, when we're feeling inspired to call someone and say hello, like, what do you call that? So uh, I figured for myself, why not work with each person? Understand where they're coming from. There's no point in convincing anybody to do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My last relationship ended up, you know, sharing with me some information when it came to some of the learnings she had. And she would say, you know, you can't argue with crazy. 
<laughs> well, you probably can, but what kind of result are we really truly wanting to have here? Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much it in relation to, uh, to my ideas with the, uh, with the chakras and you know how this all came to be. Uh, Timothy Ramirez, my hubby, says excellent healing resource, highly recommended. Thank you so much, Robert Alexander. So. Oh, uh, thanks, Tim. I appreciate uh, that. Yeah. Looking it is forward amazing. to connecting with you. Yeah, it really is amazing how he had a huge shift. Um, he had a really bad accident and had to have three surgeries. And one of the surgeries was a do over because they didn't do it right. <laughs> so so oh, he was, you know, so at the time that he it to you, it was really perfect timing because he just needed that, that lift, you know, um, and I'm going to even say that love and attention because your gift was just so timely for, for the, the beginning of his shift and healing and um, he's doing fantastic. So, um, so glad to hear yeah. And, you know, I just, I so believe in sound and music and um, I have a few songs that, you know, I started to touch into that. Um, I have one song called Escape to Breathe that I love that, wow. that really leans into, you know, more of a healing approach. And this was way back, you know, this was on one of my first CDs and hey. then yeah. And then, uh, and on the same one, I have, I have a couple of songs that, that lean into it and they're my, it's my favorite music. It really is. Now, a lot of people follow me because I'm a jazz singer, you know? Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So jazz. That would be more of your work. I love jazz. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of like you, I believe that you can hold both hands at the same time. Oh, big time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. People would assume that the stuff that I do is only healing music. And I figured, well, it's not necessarily, you know, like, like, like thrashy or, or trashy or just super dark. There are times where I'm thinking it might be like a little bit more intense. And the person's like, wow, that's really soothing. I'm going, what? You know, <laughs> if you put it in the lounge or you know, it's a little bit more like, you know, punchy in terms of the beat or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's where my other project comes in. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting place to be. And the, the interesting, I'm going to be totally vulnerable and just put everything, you know, I don't, not everything, just put everything out on the table, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's yeah. not about being on. Like when you talk with me, like off camera, this, this is how I roll um, in that way. So I know what it's like to put myself out there mm -hmm. a lot, like offering gifts to people. I don't think people even realize the value of some of the things that they even put out because they might be so consumed in their heads. And for me, it's, it's far from saving everybody or being on a mission to convince people or whatever it might be. And I got to a one point where I just really felt super exhausted. And I figured, well, you know, less is more, a little bit, even being in someone's presence, apparently, mm -hmm. somehow their technology just improves, you know, or like, whoa, like what, what's going on, you know? <laughs> and it's far from me saying I'm some sort of saint or earth angel, even though people have said, oh, you're an angel, you're amazing. How did you, how did you pop into my life for things like that? It's, it's far from like this whole thing, like, hello, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm so-and-so. It's like, we're, we all have these, I really believe that we all have these aspects of consciousness inside and we all can dive into our awareness. And, you know, there is a lot of ego that's out there. And when I've put myself out there a lot, that means if I'm extending myself over over and over again, I noticed a drain. And I realized, wait a second, if I'm putting a lot of energy, maybe I'm snowing people in. Maybe, I mean, I don't even realize. And mm -hmm. it's far from being a um, pervasive. Yeah. I, I would check in and I would see people hitting hitting their heads against walls, you know, metaphorically, you know, I figured if you turn that around and do a 180, it'd be a head bang, <laughs> you know, because oh, why is this hurting? We'll just do a 180 and maybe do this. And then do this, you know, and that might, that might be a little bit better. You might, you know, might need to move your neck a little bit, but it's just one of those things, you know? So I figured, you know, if I'm creating more vacancies in my life, because there's a lot of static, you know, especially if there's static on the TV or old school radios or whatever it might be, eventually we find a station we can attune ourselves to. Mm -hmm. And I realize I'm a pretty progressive person. I'm pretty open. There's a lot of people, they'd rather just stay in their lane. That's just how it is. This is what's going on. I figured life is dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's chance my brain goes black and white when it comes to like the gray in between. Why yeah. not really connect in that way? Because there's so many 
variety. So I feel nervous when I say the word variant because of, you know that C word that's been coming out, that five letter word, or five letter initials. <laughs> well, COVID basically, the different variants that are out. <laughs> so yeah, right. long story right. short, I figured, you know, less is more. That's actually mm -hmm. a song on my first album um, for, for Ed Love, my music project. And at the end of the day, I mean, I, I trust and know if people really need my help. Hopefully they'll have the courage to reach out and ask. I mean, you'll be surprised how many people don't ask. They're, they're just so in it. And I'm right. thinking, well, I could offer. And they're like, okay, 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 okay. And it's like, okay, well, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I appreciate you both really receiving my gift. Mm. Oh my goodness. And receiving my gift, you know, yeah. because some people, it just you just never know. And I've attempted to, and you know, I never ever mean to have any expectations of anything. I figured it could be a conversation starter. Mm -hmm. I might be able to, people might be able to spread the word. There's no expectation on it. If it's mm -hmm. anything, I figured whatever the purpose is used for, that ultimately, you know, they're really able to receive what they're able to receive. I mean, you're even listening to his music. I was like, wow, if I knew that, I'd, I'll, I'll create one for you. I don't mind. I'll take it. <laughs> well, I mean, so it is. I'll, receive it. I'll receive it you know um to, uh, well first I want to know more about your your music projects I mean you kind of talked a little bit about it but but can you expound on it because oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah That's so I tell people like you know the word fusion if you actually spell out the word fusion I, I like putting the f-u in fusion <laughs> <laughs> you know just as taking fusion to a different level and it yeah. actually sounding good because, you know, there could be lots of different things. It's, it's like a jam session and everyone's just kind of going their own way. And it's like, whoa, like where, where's the flow in this? And I know that when it comes to flow, certain elements work really well together. And for me, I mean, I think one of the biggest things, it's almost kind of like a faux pas, you know, mm -hmm. when someone says like break a leg before like a theatrical performance or something, or no, they would say good luck, you know, right. like, yeah. you know, yeah. I think yeah. one of the most yeah. craziest things are, I think, I don't want to say absurd, is what is your favorite song or what is your favorite album or what what's your favorite genre of music and part of me is like oh no kind of like phoebe from friends uh -huh. <laughs> like, like, oh, no he didn't ask me that because, <laughs> you know i could say you know what if you belong to apple music or you belong to spotify and you see what's in my collection like, whoa I, their brain would probably explode <laughs> i mean i'm a pretty pretty diverse type person i mean right i even see myself having um perhaps like a night where I'm having like trip hop and down tempo and you know that jazzier kind of sound and maybe having an ambient night or something maybe yeah. at a location as long as things are still open from what I'm you know hearing these days you know with, with lockdowns and all that jazz so and even like online spaces like the music lounge that you're you're into so my project it, it's more like down, down tempo ambient I mean, I was playing guitar at one point and just due to some inflammation in my body at the moment, I've been like playing off the guitar. Um, I do sing. I don't have as much as my vocal, me singing uh, on my tracks, at least in relationship to the electronic music pieces that I have. Mm -hmm. And the music that I have is definitely like a fusion between like down tempo, ambient. You can hear it probably like at a hotel lounge. I mean, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I can hear this in a lounge is having a beverage. Um, one of the reasons going back to the life rhythms business for a moment is uh, so I have 20 and a half years of continuous sobriety. Oh, that's awesome. So I don't smoke. I don't do plant that's medicine good. in terms of microdosing or any of that. Yeah. And I'm far from being on a companion. Just say no, you know, because there's people <laughs> using, you know, cannabis and even like, my, well, at least microdosing for therapeutic purposes and journeying and people using ayahuasca. I'm not here to dismiss it. You know, if you want to use it, go ahead. If people are like, you know what? I don't want to mess with it. I am curious though about going in deeper. That's where I figured also like where this might be helpful for going on a sonic journey. Well, mm -hmm. at least a journey to help them dive deeper into what's important for them. I mean, there, there's so many, there's a story at least I remember somebody um, and I'm going on this tangent. There's this woman who, there's this thing called Kratom or Kratom. It, it's basically helping with opioid, opioid addiction basically. Oh, okay. And okay. she wasn't an opioid. She was using it for panic attacks, making oh. it key. And mm -hmm. in the middle of our session, and again, there's no music played in the session. And she was feeling really anxious and she reached for it. And I was like, just maybe just 15 minutes or maybe 10 minutes. And it, but it still seems like, you know, if not, because I ask people usually before the session to 
to go through like a guide that says, please refrain from using cannabis or alcohol between yeah. 24 to 48 hours away from the session. Oh, I love that. And thank you. Cause that way, I mean, I've seen people show up with their eyes red. I'm like, I really hope they're not high. You know, there, there's all these altered experiences and yeah. I, mean, I figured if it's going to be that way, they'll be able to really work directly with whatever's going on. Definitely. We'll yeah. see where people are, you know? So I'm saying that because with me having a journey sonically with Evlove, um, I literally have two different albums signed to two different labels, like one's in San Francisco and one's okay. in Chile. Nice. And, uh, thank you. At the same time though, too, um, there, there's some cool things like my catalog is currently um, being shifted over except for those those two labels I'm so grateful for Geomag geomagnetic records for um, sharing those two um, albums with their sub labels which is super awesome um, again the style is more like down tempo there's a little there, there's definitely trip, trip hop elements um, a little bit of drum and bass jungle elements to it too which is like you know different genres like in UK um, acoustic I mean I have a whole bunch of stuff on my iPhone that I recorded just me just playing guitar and just allowing certain things to come through. There's yeah. different vocalists that I've worked with. So I guess you could say it's more of a project versus it being a full-blown band. Mm -hmm. uh, me working with analog instruments, like actual like physical guitar, so there, there's times I'll put it in. I, I'm looking forward to spending more time and really getting my craft out there. And I do have music on Pandora and Spotify and Apple Music. There's links under Evlove, like the, the music lounge. We mm -hmm. will be able to hear different things. Um, have you ever heard of Insight Timer? No, no, that's new to me. We'll talk about that. Okay, good. I have my sleep <laughs> track that you can download mm -hmm. through my website. It has 29,000 plays. Really? And I cannot believe, like, like, the community is so supportive. I mean, it, and that song is actually made for a healer. <laughs> and he had insomnia. And at one point, he's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, can I have this available for the masses? And he's like, yeah, yeah no problem. I love that. So super awesome in that, you know. So with Evlove, sorry for kind of going, you know, back and forth here. That's fine. Evlove is definitely my baby. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm working on a new album. It's taking a lot longer. I mean, it's been like years in the making, and I've been addressing other things like stuff with life rhythms and and a few other things that have been taking place in my life. So I have a feeling it it, it may be a good conversation starter once the album is launched. Um, there's other cool things too with life rhythms that I'll, I'll be able to talk with you about as well too. So. Um, yeah, I mean, do you have any questions? Oh, I also DJed it too. Haven't done it in a while. Cool. So there's there's quite a bit within like the Ev Love, I guess you could say the different tiers, you know? That yeah. I, just my love for music and exposing people to music is a great. So where, great okay, song. so you said people can find your music under Spotify and, and where else? Spotify, Pandora, Pandora. SoundCloud. Okay, and then under your name, Robert Alexander or Ev Love? Ev Love, E-V-L-O-V. E-V-L-O-V. That's yeah, awesome. If anything, they can go under my website. They'll see the music lounge. They first oh, see okay. the rhythms. When they when you scroll down, you'll see I love. I want to I'm gonna take everybody there. Sure. Thanks. I think, you know, some people like myself, I'm really a visual person. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like the music lounge. That's that's great. I like that you say um, that. There has to be a place for people to hear both both sounds. So yeah. like light rhythms and have love. Yeah, I think a lot of people they just stop at life rhythms go your music is so healing and but there's that we, we aren't uh we're multi-dimensional beings oh yeah. here it is i love i love this okay awesome you can so, tell even the background of that too it's different there's a little bit more of a cityscape and all those different album covers yeah that's amazing so you're an artist as well yeah that's the other business i have is a content creation business where i do custom graphic design and sound design so people are like, wow, you're busy. And I figured, well, you know, to be honest with you, at the end of the day, um, I'm very selective with the clients that I work with, mm -hmm. or who I work with. Um, yeah, so th this is more of my project. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to opening up more doors with this as well. I mean, this is a huge I love problem. it. Oh, I love that. We might we have to talk. I have, a, too, so. I have a client coming out with a new album, actually. So we're working on the album cover. So oh, wow. I might be talking to you about that. Right on. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. we'll scroll down some more. Let me let me show you some, a few more things. Okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Keep on going. Oh my gosh. That's my most recent one, right? That's great. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for listening. And then well, if you scroll all the way down past this, you'll see stream now, 
So Spotify, oh, Music, Amazon. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So yeah. There's a whole bunch of cool little gems that are out here. Like I had a radio show a couple of years ago and they consider maybe expanding that at some point. Yeah. I'll get anything on to hopefully out the podcast aspect of it because people are like, I want to listen to your podcast. Um, and I'm sorry for having anyone's brain spin or explode with all the different stuff I've been able to do. <laughs> I'm one of those multifaceted people again, where I'm not really being everything to everybody. Mm-hmm. It's just what's really important has the best way to get certain things out there. And it's a matter of working with the people that are on the same page. So mm-hmm. I collaborate, I do partnerships. Again, very selective because we have 25 hours in one day and eight days out of the week. <laughs> you wish, right? So <laughs> eight you know, days out of the week. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I I for a while started working. I, for a while I was working seven days a week. And mm-hmm. then, you know, your cup just becomes empty. It just goes empty. And so I've really made a conscious effort to, I work five days a week and one of those days is flexible in case I need to go hiking in the mountains to fill my cup again, because you can't give unless we're filling our cup again. And especially as creative entrepreneurs, I find in general creatives, you know, we're uh, most of us are multifaceted. Yes. Most of us are. And so that whole, it's impossible. I don't like the word impossible. Um, But, you know, the word niche to a creative is like, here, step into this little cage and we're going to lock it. And what is the one thing that you do for your business? I almost want to be like, you know, (laughs) and a lot of, I think a lot of people, let's just put it this way. And, and, in terms of impossible, I, I hear you. If anything, I mean, anything is possible at yes. the same time. It's like, that's one of the reasons why I decided to have two different businesses and then mm-hmm. have my music project. So when right. someone says, so how's your music going? It's like, they don't they don't know where to go with, with certain things, right? right. And I definitely want to attest, you know, where, where can I categorize it so it's easy for people to go? Yes. And I yes. figured, well, even with my business coach, she would say, well, your music project will be able to find its own way. And I'd I've seen magic. I've seen cool things unfold because of this project. I've seen cool things unfold because of the Light Brothers business. And at the same time, um, having different connections and doing different things that way or um, connecting and we don't have to figure anything out. We really don't. We get to mm-hmm. allow people to come into our world. So when it comes to describing what we do, um, being multifaceted, it's, it's all good. You know, I've, I've really learned it's important for me to really honor myself in my journey because at the same time, like there are people, well, day in and day out, they're either clocking out on the corporate job. I, I was working as a corporate, you know, in a corporate position as a graphic designer for like nine years. Mm-hmm. Um, even working for a startup before I was let go for like a year, wearing a lot of different hats. And I realized, you know what? We're all multifaceted beings. Are we allowing ourselves to be multifaceted beings? Yeah. And at the same time, it's okay to wear different hats and it's okay to wear different hats at different times. So we, if we wear all the different hats and we'll have like a baseball cap and then a candle all on all at once. And it's like, well, it's cool that we wear them all at once, you know? So I'm, I'm saying this because definitely, and um, forgive me if it sounds like I'm correcting because I don't think I am. It's like anything is possible. Yes. It's, it's, when are we choosing to wear like the right hat at the right time? What feels right? And it's okay to honor all those aspects because they all want to have the same result. They all want to feel realized and acknowledged and they're all parts of self that want to be expressed. It's such an important thing to have, you know, and for living in this world where it's like, what's this one thing? And we're going to break it down and we're going to you know, micro niche it out. And here's 15,000 different steps in terms of how to make the perfect X, Y, Z. And it's like, there's so much stimulus. And then when I share with people what I do, their brains are just like, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I thought you were just doing sound baths with the bowls. And it's like, you know, <laughs> or welcome, you know? Yeah. I think a lot of people, even like in this new spirituality, they're coming back to the traditional aspects of what's going on. And even when it comes to music promotion and production as well, I mean, it's, it's beautiful, you know? There's, right. there's so many people that are out there. And for me, I realize where my strengths are. And when I'm able to flex my muscles with. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, I'm a huge proponent 
and tapping into a community where we're able to do different things. And if, you know, financial elements or time or, you know, certain things may be like a, a disruptor or a concern, then we work with what we got. Right. Because at the end of the day, we can only do what we can do. And in terms of filling your, your cup or one's cup, I think there's some wonder like, yeah, there's a crack in that cup. What do we do to actually repair the crack? If we can, you know, what can we do to work with what we got? I know what it's like to feel very overwhelmed at times, especially uh, living alone, um, mm -hmm. being in an area where it's a bit quieter. They're a little bit more traditional, I guess you could say, when it comes to music. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like my music is so out there. Where are you from, Robert? Where do you live? Um, I live in Ventura, California. So I live between Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. And okay. in this area, it seems like a lot of people are doing cover songs. Mm -hmm. If they're doing any type of audio production that I'm doing, they're, they're like, they're either in their communities doing their thing. I've also realized too, the people that are staying away from mind altering substances, you know, either they're really just really staying close to what they're doing. You're either, I guess, either doing AA or things like that too. And I figured, you know, I really wouldn't mind creating a social experience for people that mm -hmm. really care about connecting with people for the sake of connecting with people. Yeah, yeah. And it could be global, it could be locally, because mm -hmm. I think we're living in this day and age. Oh my gosh, is this person hitting on me? Is this person a creeper? Is this person soliciting? You know, we never know. We're living in such delicate times. How do we know that we're actually qualifying a person? Right. And we've gotten weary. And we have, so yeah. our filters are getting thicker and thicker. Yes. <laughs> Where, yeah. Yeah. I have I, different ideas for that too. So stay yeah. tuned. Uh, including I, I love it. I love it. You know, um, I, I don't know. Some of my audience knows, but I went through, um, I, I've been clean for 10 over 10 years now so congratulations that's yeah, amazing. So i really really honor your journey you know it is a journey yeah it's yeah. a journey definitely so yeah um, thank you yeah i um i want to talk about so much as i'm looking to see if there's any questions um from the audience we've got um, a couple people watching if you have any questions i can actually see them here now guys so i'm getting better at the whole tech thing and, always uh, more than happy to help with that too yeah i know yeah. you're great i think i'm definitely be using you as a resource oh, thank you i have a, an amazing studio that is now sitting in boxes robert oh, really? <laughs> i might be flying you out <laughs> help me put this together i do i have a great studio um we've moved back oh. and forth from from colorado to california several times over the last five years oh wow yeah, okay. so we, we've moved there for my husband's career, and plus we love it. And we moved back home because we love it and we love our family here. So yeah. we we live a both and life, and I we like are that. going to be up in Carmel by the Sea in October. So maybe we can oh, collaborate wow. and have you come up then. Um, we'll be up there doing a creative series. Oh, wow. How awesome. Yeah, I'll be kind of launching all the details on that Um probably the beginning of next week so okay yeah. where where were you in california carmel by the sea Pebble oh Bay. that's where you were yeah 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 that's amazing yeah, yeah. I was gonna say too, people have questions too if they ever want to write them not only on facebook i guess if you're watching it on youtube they could always yeah. write questions and i'm sure i can answer on top of that too or that'd be great I always like to be a resource in the best way for persons like yeah i don't know he might be too busy or, i don't know i think he would just be kind of weird yeah, I, I get back oh. to as many people as I can. Right, like, really absolutely. Important. And um, we'll definitely leave links, you know, below all of these so that you guys can find them easily. I love, I love easy, you know. Me too. Huh? Because we're so busy. We're so busy. And I do like, I do like the fact that going back to, you know, when we talked about the niching, first off, I had this great visual of, you know, you've got someone banging their head against the wall, trying to figure out their niche. And then I just see this like creative person turning around they've got all their hats on their head and they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And we're going to do voiceovers too, right? <laughs> yeah. It was just the visual that came to me and it was just like, made me really happy because yeah, we can, I do like the fact that you've got to make it simple for your followers to know what direction to go. You know, interesting you're oh. saying that too, and I hear you, and I didn't mean to cut you off. It's it's one of those things too, where there are times too with me being so multifaceted. Mm -hmm. What is the best way for me to articulate? There are different things that I do, and yeah. segmenting. Because see, for me, even though I was scheduled to be born in November, I was born in the middle, or I was born 
on the cusp in August. And oddly enough, I'm I'm lefty. Oh, okay. So I even play left-handed guitar and everything too. So it's like no matter how conventional, I keep yeah. landing back on my butt being unconventional. It's it's crazy. I've said that probably three or four times already. So at the same time, it's like, well, there's things that we can delegate. Mm-hmm. There's things that you know we can only do what we can do, what we can do. And if we learn to do them, we can do them. I mean, I've had people talk with me about NFTs and yeah. you know, learning more about the NFT world and people into crypto. And I mean, there, there's just a lot. And I realized, you know, like I even got up super early this morning to go journal at, journal at a coffee shop before and I wanted to make sure it was all cleaned up and everything. And so I was like, you know what? Like what really works right now in my life? Who can I connect with? How's the best way to create collaborations and opportunities that also open up doors, not only for me and the fellow collaborator, for everybody involved. Mm-hmm. Is that what they want? I mean, it's perfectly okay to have niches because basically, I mean, they're very clear and it's right. okay to have clarity too. And mm-hmm. sometimes we have to put certain things on pause and certain things we can like lower the volume or raise the volume on. Right. Yeah, I feel a little bit less of this right now. We've got to do more admin today. Okay. Like yesterday, I was making doctor's appointments and, you know, different things and it's, you know, verifying insurances and just, just <laughs> me wearing the admin hat. I right. Mean, the admin feel- hat. Yeah. Just worked for a rabbi for like four and a half years. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. Um, doing interface with the client or talking mm-hmm. with different people, having conversations about opening up communication. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's all these different things that we may need to do. So it's it's okay to have niches. And at right. the same time, it's okay to dream. And mm-hmm. there, there's ways to work with those areas too. And the most one of the most important things is to really honor, like I was saying before, these aspects of self. Because right. we may not be considered spiritual in a lot of other people's eyes. It's how our minds work. Most likely our minds just want a dopamine hit anyway. Mm-hmm. Our minds want to feel celebrated and relaxed. And, you know, there's really nothing to figure out. Our, our brains, oh, it's a stars. Oh, it's karmic. Oh, it's a past life. Maybe, could be. What if it isn't, <laughs> you know? So it's, it's a really interesting place to be. I think it's really important to honor oneself. Yeah, it, absolutely. And absolutely, you know, and um, I have several brands and and arms or hats. I just love the hat thing and totally going. (laughs) Yeah, man. (laughs) (laughs) I did it right. There I go. You You tell I'm not a rocker. (laughs) Like, oh, no. Love, peace. (laughs) We'll do this and do. Oh my gosh, we could totally play. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's one of the things too that, um, you know, I have uh, the, the artist date and that's where I have primarily my artist development and media. Yeah. And, yeah. And then Carol Frazier is just kind of my music side and I love to interview people. That's the thing that I've just really found yeah. that is just my joy here one of them no extent it's just i want to communicate with people and connect people and learn more about them and celebrate you know celebrate artists because yeah yeah yeah, we are we are unique human beings and we're made we were made in in my mind as a creative we're made to really flow i like to say flow god in and out whatever. Right. Yeah. So for me, it's flow, flow, God in and out, you know, we're conduits, we're, we're vessels. Absolutely. Yeah. So I just realized something. If you spell mm -hmm. flow backwards, I think it's wolf. Really? I just realized that. Cool. Is that crazy? (laughs) Like a wolf. (laughs) I think you need to write a song about it, Robert. Huh? Well, there's different t-shirts I'm thinking about, you know, different apparel to get going on that. Yeah. Yeah, we have lots to talk about. (laughs) We do. Uh, My people call your people. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, we have been on here almost an hour. Um, I really appreciate everyone that has showed up and that's going to be watching the replay. Uh, We will definitely leave links below so that you guys can find Robert and experience his music. And hopefully you'll have, you know, your own personalized, customized experience with him as well. So I know that it's completely blessed Tim and I. So 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Robert, stay on. And I'm going to go ahead and end the live. And I appreciate you all. And yeah, thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Any way I can truly help, I, I mean it from the bottom. If you know Carol, even if you tune in and everything, it's my pleasure to help in any way I can. Much gratitude. Thank you so much, everyone. Awesome. Carol, yep. thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to stop the share. Isn't that funny? Hi, everyone. I'm Techie, not. <laughs> oh, stop yeah. share. Uh, how do you do stop the share? Stop the screen share? Yeah. No, oh. I want to stop the share to Facebook. Oh. Let's let's get off. Let's just pop off. And I think then... it's like the upper left-hand side where it says Facebook and it says live. Look at that. Okay, everybody. <laughs> You're doing a live. You, know, you get the extra special edition, right? There you go. <laughs>